Before we show you how to add your project to the layer, let's have a quick look at someone else's project which is already up. Here we are in the South Luangwa Valley having a look at the anti-poaching snare patrol project which has got really quite a lot of information on it. This is the home page of your project and it's got text, a photograph which you can load from your PC, it's automatically resized for you, links to collaborators or to your funders, a link also to enable people to comment on your project uh, and perhaps give you further support. If you want to add more than just the basics to your project, there's a second tab and you can add more photographs and more text. In the wildlife tab you can add links to specific species related to your project or the area in which you are working. These particular links take you directly through to the archive website with specialist information on species that they record. In the media tab you can create links to videos, uh, other photographs, to online published articles, data sets or anything else that you think people would find useful to learn more about your project. So to add your project to the layer, go to our website at www.mapperproject.org and on every page you'll find a link to add your conservation project. That link will take you through to a screen where you can register to add your project. All you have to do is give us your email address and add your name and we'll send you a message registering you as a new user. When you get that account activation email from us, just go and click on the link and it will take you directly through to your new account in the Mapper database. This is what that welcome screen will look like and you'll see that you don't have any projects at the moment recorded against your account. To open your first project, click on the projects link at the top of the page. You'll see that you have no live projects and you're going to need to add a new one using the add button. This is where you're going to add your new project for the first time. You'll see there are some uh, editing guidelines at the top, but let's have a quick look at some of the fields you're going to fill in. Quite a few fields through the page, you don't need to fill in all of them, and we're actually only going to fill in a few just to get you going. The one that we're going to start with is the project title field. Obviously you need a nice crisp title for your project, and ideally perhaps a, a subtitle as well to expand a little bit on that. Then we're going to have to place your project. If you know your coordinates, fill them in in the Latlon fields. Otherwise, use this little Google application to zoom in on the area where you're working and you can get down to a very close level indeed. Put the pin down on the map and you will automatically fill in the Latlon fields. A few other fields which are perhaps useful. We need to know ideally who you are or you'll need the public to know who you are. There, that will be in the owner field. But then we've got a contact person as well if you'd like to be the person people could get hold of perhaps if they want to support your project or learn a bit more about it. Further down the page, we're going to start filling in some information about your website. Very important link, I think, for everyone to have is the website link. And we're going to give it a title so it looks a little bit prettier than title of the project in this case. Then on the home page, that home tab, we're going to have a little home tab title to talk about the sort of work that you're doing. And then a longer description, which will go into the home text. That's probably the minimum basic information you need to get out there for people to show an interest in your project. So let's click on the insert button to add it to the database and have a look at a nice feature on this page, which is the mock-up bubble. This shows exactly how your bubble will look on Google Earth. It's nice, perhaps a little colorless. So why don't we add a photograph? Go to the field Home Pick and click on Choose File. Go onto your computer, select the image that you want and then go and click the update button. Now when we go and have a look at our bubble there it is and it looks great I think we'll accept that and we'll go and see what else it is that we can do. Look at the other tabs that we've got along the top here. Let's go and see what we can add under countries. Here you can associate your project with one or many countries. I just put in ZAM in the quick search and up comes the word Zambia and that is indeed what I want. Now I'm going to click on update record. When I did that it took me off to the next tab, conservation areas. Once again I'm going to use the quick search, I'm in the Luangwa Valley, I put in the first few letters of the word Luangwa and actually I'm interested in associating myself with both of those parks and I'm going to update the record once again. Now I find myself on the organizations tab. Here you can either add from an existing list of organizations or you can add your own new organizations to the database. In our case we're going to make up a couple of uh, organizations for our test data here. We're going to put in 
BirdLife International. Just by putting in the word bird, we can select that, and then we can add any other organizations as well. Now I'm going to click Update Record, but I'm going to go back and look at my general information. There's other stuff we could have added, and we're going to show you how to do that in the future. Back to the General Information tab. Here we are. We have a quick look at our mock-up bubble, and there you can see that we've added some organizations in the lower half of the screen as well, and a little bit more information. So now we can update and exit. We've put our project into the database, and there we can see it. But notice that red mark. That shows us that this is not yet live. What this means is that your project has been saved in the database, but it won't yet appear on Google Earth. And that won't happen until it's been authorized by someone on the Mapper team, just to make sure there's no inappropriate content. As soon as that happens, you will get an email, and you can go back into your record and set the show live flag and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So as soon as your project has been authenticated by us and you've received that mail go back into your record using your original logon details look there's your project you've got one project here we're going to go and get rid of that red mark which says no by editing the project going into your record and finding the show on live layer flag click that update and exit and now you will see that the show live no has become a show live green and that's it within 24 hours your project will be shown live on Google Earth so that's it here we are back in Google Earth in the South Luangwa Valley there's our project we're going to open it now it's already on the layer uh, all the details in there the sponsors are getting their publicity the collaborators are we're telling people about our project and it's in the context of the South Loangua Valley where everyone can see what's going on. You can go into this at any stage in the database. You can change that data, add more people, more details, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that in the next video. But for now, thanks very much, and do let us know if you'd like any help of any sort.